Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The Hyundai Accent, Elantra, i10, and the Getz. That's a lot of car names, right? Well, with good reason. Well, all these cars have one thing in common. Apart from the fact that they are made by Hyundai, they all have a similar type of injection system called the CRDI or the Common Rail Direct Injection. In this video, we will discuss what CRDI is, why we need it, and how it works. The older type of fuel injection systems are cam driven and so the injection pressure of the fuel depends on the speed of the engine. Because of this, the fuel injection pressure will be lower at low speeds. Injecting fuel at lower pressure makes the fuel less atomized. This could result in poor mixing of air and fuel leading to bad combustion. On the other hand, the timing and the number of injections are fixed in the older types. In order to overcome these disadvantages, modern diesel engines use the electronic common rail injection system. CRDI was first developed by Robert Huber in the 1960s. It was successfully adapted in automobiles during the 1990s. CRDI consists of a common line known as a rail, which supplies fuel to the individual injectors at a higher pressure. It can inject the fuel at a pressure of 20,000 PSI, resulting in high atomization of fuel, ensuring better mixing, which gives complete combustion. CRDI consists of a common rail, a fuel tank, a fuel filter, electronic fuel pump, electronic control unit, sensors, and injectors. Now let's see how a typical CRDI system looks like. The fuel tank is connected to the fuel filter, which in turn is connected to the fuel pump, a pressure regulating valve, and a high pressure pump. The high pressure pump is in connection with the common rail that connects individual injectors. The injectors in turn are connected with an electronic control unit, which is fed by the throttle position sensor, manifold pressure sensor, speed sensor, and the temperature sensor. The common rail is attached with a pressure sensor connected to the ECU and a pressure relief valve connected to the fuel tank. The fuel stored in the fuel tank is fed to the filter and is then pumped by the fuel pump. The high pressure pump further increases the pressure of the fuel. On receiving the signals from the pressure sensor, the ECU controls the pressure regulating valve to supply the required amount of fuel. The pressurized fuel from the pump reaches the common rail which acts as a pressure accumulator and sends the fuel to the individual injectors. If excess pressure gets created in the rail, the pressure control valve will release fuel back to the tank. The ECU detects the engine conditions on receiving signals from the sensors and controls the injectors for injecting the correct quantity of fuel at the correct time. Thus, the fuel gets injected into the cylinders at higher pressure based on the requirements. Now, this is how the CRDI works. As the injection is controlled electronically, this system is superior to the conventional systems in various aspects. CRDI can inject a small amount of fuel even before the main injection. This reduces sudden explosion and reduces noise creation. Based on the requirements, some CRDI may inject fuel up to a maximum of five times per engine stroke. The other advantages of CRDI over the conventional systems are better fuel efficiency and lesser vibrations. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I think you'll be clear about how the CRDI system works now. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.